Hi there, this is Tracy, and I'm narrating on behalf of Sophie, who is my nine-year-old daughter, who did some jelly plating this morning. And Sophie wanted to do her own process video. She sees her mom making process videos quite often, and so she wanted to make one of her own today, but she's a little shy for narrating and didn't want to um, speak in the video. So I'm going to narrate some of it, and then we'll just put on some music and let you guys watch if you're interested. This is Sophie's first time ever with a jelly plate, but she has watched some of Julie Fafan Balzer's videos on using a jelly plate, and so you can tell she used some of she uses some of Julie's techniques techniques. <laughs> Writing with the tip of a um, paintbrush and using foam stamps. And now she has a very translucent kind of paint there, which she doesn't realize is that translucent until she takes her first print and realizes just how see-through it is. So she's just going to use this piece of paper so that her hands don't get too messy and <laughs> she wants to brayer it. And there we go. Watch. Oh, look at how pretty it is. She's very pleased with it. There you go. And she's turning it upside down because, <laughs> because my video camera films everything upside down and then I flip it all in post-production. So, <laughs> so there's a little behind the scenes info for you. Now she's very excited to use those two combs. Um, so she is thinking about what color she wants and she's now I want you guys to know that I am actually over at my computer not paying much attention at all to her she is doing this almost all on her own I helped her scoop up some of the extra paint um, that she had on her first print there um, but other than that it, the times that you see my hands that's the only time that I'm helping her I am not telling her what to do I'm not telling her how much paint to use I told her to just figure it out as she goes because that's how I figured out how to jelly plate. Oh, look, she's showing you. Um, so I am, I'm over at my, at my computer and what I'm doing is I'm making some stencils while she's doing this and I'm pretty absorbed in what I'm doing. Oh, look at that. What a good idea. And so, uh, I, this is just a nine year old coming up with her own stuff. And so she's just going to do a solid one here, I guess. I'm going to stop narrating soon because I actually don't really know what she did. So I don't have too much to say about this uh, that isn't pretty self-explanatory. But I thought I would just introduce her and let you know that, oh, did we not see that? Maybe we, we might have lost some of the video because she actually took that one. Maybe we weren't uh, videotaping at that point. Oh, she needed some help there because that uh, paint was a little bit too liquid and she felt bad that she didn't uh, that she didn't shake it up. And I told her, I said, you know what, that's how you learn that you've got to shake things up, right? Because <laughs> sometimes it says shake before using and you can get away without shaking, right? We all know some products like that. Um, but with that particular paint, you only learn that you actually have to shake it by not shaking it one time and having it be all separated like that. So I'm going to put on some music and you can just watch Sophie and see what she comes up with. It's really fun to watch her create. So I hope that you enjoy. This is just something different. I won't be doing this on my channel very often, but I thought that, um, I, I, I thought that it would be nice if I could allow uh, Sophie a chance to do some creating and some video making of her own.
Thank you.